All right, this is another fun model I got over at Malik's 3D Design, and we're going to do some sanding. And, you know, I hit it, this one not too much just because it came out so smooth on that Ender 3. Now, after some priming and some more sanding, I used a, a metallic, what is it, a metallic automotive paint. The links will be below uh, to find this stuff. I love the Duplicolor paint. Had a little bit of a sparkle in it, which I really dug. Now we're just using the old uh, super glue and some accelerator to get all these pieces parts on and uh, hold them in the place for a second and of course use the accelerator so we don't have to hold them too long i got so glued up on this build it was insane so here's the base really simple just used like a beaten sort of metal look to it and weathered it and then said oh it needs a little bit of color so i went ahead and uh, after i popped down the grate i used some uh, orange to really give it that rust look so the black makes it dirty but the orange gives it that sort of rusty really cool looking metal look that i think works really well for something like this just because it can look a little too monochromatic just because of course the alien is uh blackish gray the bottom i made blackish gray so i was going for a, a monochrome sort of paint job but really happy with this this guy does amazing models super cheap and there she is the alien queen it's a nice big model uh, it, you can see the sort of the specs in the, the paint I used. Again, it's a Duplicolor paint. Uh, just really happy. I love how he poses things, and I think it works really well. And since it's got this huge swooping tail, it, it really is a pretty dynamic uh, statue, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you want to pick this up, you can check out the links uh, below in the description to uh, his site. Of course, check me out on everything facebook twitter instagram all that and my patreon page guys we'll have a new video up soon thanks for watching